And welcome back to Coast to Coast. Winter Lake is a writer and practitioner of satanic black magic. He has published five books on the subject of Satanism, remote viewing, and remote influencing. Now, he's also a psychic. He has assisted law enforcement in the capacity of finding the missing or the murdered and has occasionally assisted in locating the murderers. Here he is tonight on Coast to Coast Winter Lake. Winter, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Good, good. I've got to let you know from the outset, I have received more emails from people who want me to tie you up and push you off a bridge. (laughs) I have, too. Than anybody I've ever had. So I I, I want to... I, I'm I've got you on because I want to learn about you and why you do what you do, and at least get your views on this. I am not endorsing Satanism. Um, I've been a God fearing guy all my life, Winter, but I, I just think it's. I totally it's understand, and I'm not looking to convert people. I know, um, and I totally respect you, and thank you so much for having me on your show. Uh, you are an amazing person. And uh, your show is amazing. <laughs> so It's different. It is. It is different. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself beyond just the bio. Um, well, since I was a child, I have been into the practition of some form of devil worship. Um, now, in the modern context, it is seen as theistic, uh, meaning believing in a dark entity that exists or permeates Uh, through the universe. Uh, When I was a child, I had an experience. I think everyone has that is in this path, but mine was physical. It was bats. It was apparitions. And then I've come to learn that it's more even family-oriented and possibly even generational. Why did you migrate toward the dark side? Um, Completely natural. Uh, Everything that I have had obtained in my life has worked through that forum. Um, the other, you know, light sources just weren't there for me. Um, when I wanted something or desired something, I could obtain it through black magic or psychic influencing. Um, and in that sense, that's how it all came about. Now, you don't seem like an, a, a, back, a bad person. You don't seem like someone who would go out and hurt someone. No, I'm not. I'm not interested in hurting animals or people. Um, and, you know, there are others like me, actually hundreds, maybe even thousands, in, in, involved in the type of things to the extremity that I am. But no interest in converting or hurting people. Now, those who are opposed to you will say, you're going to trick us. True enough. You're going to wheel us in like you catch a fish off a boat. True enough. Absolutely. You know, deception is the nature. Um, so you admit that you're going to do this to us? I do not admit that <laughs> I am going to deceive people. No. I'm just saying that a lot of people are deceiving themselves. Um, in a Touchstone book I wrote called Terra Satana, talks about Earth's uh, inherent evil nature uh, that mankind is actually inherently evil and that it is going opposite of its direction. I I believe that. I I, I think uh, there might be 5% of the people on this planet totally evil. The rest are pretty good people, but the the 5% winter are so powerful that they're able to do just about anything they want. Absolutely. It's made me filthy rich, you know, and I know people, I you know, that own a lot of great landmarks. I mean, I mean would you call yourself evil? Uh, yes, I would. You would? I think I would, yeah. I'm probably one of the evil ones. Now, what's your definition of that? Evil in the sense that um, I do not view myself as a sheeple. I don't fall in the line. Um, I kind of cut my own path. Um, it's it's very contextual. Uh, it can go on and on and on in this certain context of what evil's definition is. Is it Adolf Hitler looking to kill six million people? No. Um, it's just not. Uh, Adolf Hitler actually probably believed in what he was doing, uh, not to deviate into if, some kind of Nazism. I'm not a Nazi. Winter, if you were walking behind an old woman and she dropped the $200 and you picked it up, would you run up to her and say, oh, miss, you dropped this, or would you keep it? 
Unfortunately, uh, I would keep it. I know that's bad. <laughs> and it's happened. That's evil. Uh, it's happened, I have to say, and I've made it happen. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Um, I was in New York City, and someone dropped a lot of money, and I took it. So. You just took it, and you didn't steal it. You just took it. I they did. Finders keepers, right? Yes, and I, I'm on mm. national radio admitting that. Isn't that terrible? Well, it, it, but, <laughs> but I wouldn't steal from my friends. And I wouldn't steal from you. Uh, I don't break in people's houses. I'm not a home invader. Right. I'm not looking to commit petty crime. You don't. That's, that's what I'm going to say. You don't yeah. commit crimes like that. Do not and do, do not endorse these type of crimes that are going on. Especially would, would, would you be the kind of guy to head up a huge corporation that foreclosed on people and things like that? Is that part of evil? That is evil, and that is not the part that I'm part of. Okay. I have no interest in going out of my way to hurt somebody. Um, but, yes, if I find money, I would keep it. I'm the guy on the subway who, you know, found the money and would keep it. So, Tell me, as we get into this, your definition of what Satan is. Who is Satan? What is Satan? Well, in the history, uh, going back probably since the inception of mankind in one form or the other, uh, in Iraq, ironically... Uh, the force of Pazuzu and Aram uh, came about. Obviously, this is getting into some ancestral history. Right. Uh, they were the first probably real forces of evil to be reckoned with. Long came Lilith with some of the Judaic texts, but really the essential evil, probably Satan, is, is centered in or around that area. It's known as the Seven Towers. And, and Pazuzu being a force of the wind, and people would call upon him not to smite them or destroy them. So it was, a, it was a form of appeasement between the both of them. It was a mutual understanding. And, uh, and most people actually later on began to merge with this entity or merge with this force of evil that became inherent within them. So uh, it's, it's a little bit convoluted because the history is so long but that is a general take on what i think satan is in the beginnings uh from that area and then it it can it's grown and it's gone universal it's gone galactic and it's not just here it's through our universe biblically speaking now when i say the word bible by the way do you cringe no okay not at all all right Bib biblically speaking we've got lucifer a fallen angel Satan one of the same? Absolutely. A lot of people don't think so, but they are. Yeah, I think so. The devil, one and the same. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of alien entities that have that same kind of dark power as well, that they are into that same, that have gone into that, that have embraced their inherent evil. Now, I don't believe, per se, in a hell. I don't think hell is a specific place where when you're bad, you go there. I, I, I happen to believe that there are different levels of existence and if you're bad you keep getting reincarnated until you reach a stage of perfection and off you go again what what do you think is there a hell is there a place where people are burning uh, for all damnation no i think that really does not exist um i think that we're looking more into chaos toward type of singularity um, I think that when someone dies, they are ushered into, you know, into just so much different, you know, forces and angles and just your energy is so dispersed. It, it's, it almost gets into string theory, and it's not just of the Gaia. It's, it goes throughout the universe. So, no, I don't think specifically there is a hell, but I think a hell can be created mentally. Okay, now with Satan, what is he, I'll call him a he, mm -hmm. what's he want, Winter? I think he wants to awaken mankind to its true inherent nature. and Which is? Probably evil. Probably saying, look, there is power here, this is where we could go, and this is what is lacking in mankind. Um, without that, you will fall into these other doldrums. 
kind of like being the Atlantean that falls from his uh, grace, uh, uh, you know, the Aryan. I, I notify it as the satanic super Aryan, the nature of that. But again, I'm not embracing Nazism. They bastardized it from Madame Blavatsky's writings. But that's what I think it is. Now, you talk about Satanism. It dates back, what, how far back? Since the beginning of probably man's first crawl, we're going to be probably looking, you know, many, many millennia, you know, since lightning struck and fire was created. So as we had good, we had evil. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And good is good is is been, you know, bastardized. I think that good has been taken over. I don't think that there really is good. I think that it's been malformed by a series of biblicists that have misinterpreted it. Well, see, what I find is a paradox with you is you're you're also someone who cares about missing people. I do. Crimes. You help law enforcement. Do they know that you're a practicing Satanist? They do. It doesn't bother them? It does. It does? Yeah. How do they handle this with you? Um, working with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, um, they get very jittery. And how did this all happen for you? I mean... Um, I just took interest in cases. I just took, you know, like I'm interested in a case right now about a woman that has disappeared by this crooked cop. Did they come to you, or did you go to them in the beginning? I usually come to them, and sometimes they come to me, but I've actually stepped away from it because they look at you like a suspect. Oh, I was going to say, if you call them and say, I think I know where the body is, yeah, that the first thing they say is, oh, really? Well, yeah, and then they look at my background, and then I get drugged in, and it's just not good. H have you had some tense situations where you were truly a suspect for a while? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're automatically a suspect when you come forward with something that is just so close to information that they're holding close to the chest. My gosh. No, oh, absolutely. I mean, you, the police now, the gray forces, as I call them, are so on edge. They're, you know, especially when you're looking into the sexual predator stuff. And I have no tolerance for those people. I have no tolerance for sexual predators. No, no nor do I. And they are grabbing children. And they are. They're getting them from malls. They're taking them out of cars. How many are out there? Oh, every block, every street. And I don't think they can be rehabilitated, do you? No, because it's a sexual perversion, unfortunately. It's in, their, it, it's in their heads. <laughs> well, it's been growing. You Put, know, it's putting, been a, putting them in jail went to.